Let's go back to the bridge. I feel stronger. Let's see if I was right about those spectral stains. Huh? Bane rings will help. Can you find the place where the stains align?
That jump was quite something. Ghosts are quite something. But I feel clumsy. I have no idea what I'm doing. You'll master it. You've mastered everything else. No way through here, neither, far as I can see. What do you see? Anything useful? Spectres have gathered around. Why not force them to appear? Unveil yourself! Brought more friends. They never learn, do they? Don't let that vector get to the corpse. Try another one. Call me. 
change targets. Torment it first. Yes. Something's here. There are stains. If they line up, perhaps we can jump. I'm sure you can. Just try to be gentle this time. Corjito Skal! Did we miss a few? Follow my voice. Great! More fun! Position. Change tack. Help, hold. Where are corpses this hearty? Spectre heading for that corpse. Not strong enough. 
here. That's high. Trust me. <sighs> yes. Remind me to close my eyes next time. Up. What happened? Rope trap. Jacob Lind mentioned a hunter's camp. It may be close. Something's there. Something alive. Yes. Who are you and where did you spring from? I've come from New Eden Town. That's a very long way from here, sir. Who are you? My name is Red McCraith. I work for the selectmen of New Eden Town. I'm a banisher. Didn't you and the other one die in the meeting house? I fell in the water. And the tide took me. I survived. Up to now, anyway. I've never seen a banisher before. I expected more. Could I please continue this conversation with my feet on the ground? Easy now. Stop your jiggling. Hold still, I said. You try holding still when some lassie's shooting at you. In that oh. case, banish her. You may escape the trap yourself. Wait. What? No, no, come on! That camp lies downhill. I'll wait for you there. Come back here. Shit! I don't suppose you can help me, can you? That was entertaining. It's good to see you smile. Wait. Something's there. Something alive. No. Oh, my God. 
them. Once more, with vigor. I can help. This isn't over yet. This place is empty so long it's rotting. Signs of life ahead. This must be the camp the rope lady talked about. Doesn't look like much from here. Who was she anyway? Some species of huntress. 
she took no liking to you. Hard times like these, fewer folk will help a stranger. We did good against those bone walkers. You did good. Strange to see the dead from this side. They're both oddly familiar and a thousand times more ghastly. Fortifications. Grim face is not a good sign. So rest and restock, then onwards to New Eden Town. Good day to you. I'm Red McCraith. The Banisher? How did you get here? With difficulty, I must admit. Aye, only them as can handle a weapon dare brave the woods. The rest of us blockheads are stuck here in camp, waiting to be fed. Daniel Keane, by the by. Pleased to meet you, Daniel. So, what can a poor farmer do for a man like you? I was wondering, what brought you to the New World? Why leave home for the unknown? Like so many, we came looking for a better life. <laughs> a better life indeed. So, Daniel, what's new? Sorry to turn you away, Mr. Becraith, but I'm behind on me chores. Even the poor farmer must do his bit, eh? Goodbye for now, Daniel. Aye. Try not to die in the meanwhile. So you want a map? Do you wish to sail the seas, or perhaps to know which way is Boston? Or do you wish to travel west and claim more land that is not yours? I just want to walk in the woods, without getting lost. I will teach you to draw your map. So, mark the camp as your starting point. Trace the path sir. along it. Your friendly visiting landmark. banisher. By journey's end. I met your companion in New Eden Town. Since then, sadly, things have not improved, right? In hard times and hard places, a man needs help. May I interest you in my broad range of useful and reasonably priced commodities? I admit, I didn't expect to find a store out here. Whatever people go, it seems commerce follows. Things are bad, but as long as there's business to be done, all is not lost. 
You brought all these goods with you. Did you carry them on your back? With my weak heart? Of course not. I left New Eden with a horse and cart. After we ate the horse, I employed my fellow travellers as porters. You paid people to carry your goods? My fortune is in my wares, and my heart and back lack the strength to carry. Well, I hope the horse was tasty. Look about you. Folk here come through hell for this. My provisions make their lives just that little bit less awful. And all at reasonable prices. And on a personal note, I find that even the worst of times are made a little better by a bulging purse. What's the word around here? What's on your mind? Uh, you'll get no gossip from me, sir. At least not for free. Show me your wares. You'll find what you need, I'm sure. Bid you good day. On you. Good day to you too. Red McCraith, madam. At your service. You're a long way from Scotland. Lost, are you? I am but a travelling banisher, just passing through. A banisher, is it? I tend the living in the Lord's name and leave the dead to him. You do well to do the same. We all serve as best we can. I deal death to the dead so the living can heal. I don't take advantage of people's grief. I believe in helping others. In this world. Leave heaven and hell to their masters. Now, do excuse me. Unlike some, I have work to do. I didn't catch your name. Doctor? You'll not let the governor hear you call me a doctor. Mistress will do. Mistress Evelyn Fitcher. Let us talk of something else. The world about us, for example. The world about us is the new Smith sisters' purview. I'm content to worry only about the patient in front of me. May I ask, Mistress Fitcher, how you became a doctor? I'm no doctor, and you must stop calling me that. My father was a doctor. I took an interest in his work. He encouraged this. God, he said, will work through any hands willing to be of service. And besides, he needed the help. Arthritis, you see. My father was unusual as a doctor, for his patients tended not to die. Folk trusted him, and though they knew me as a midwife, they trusted me too. When he died, his patients became my patients. And you? Whose footsteps did you follow in becoming a banisher? A dear friend. To him I'll be forever grateful for 
Through him, I met the love of my life. I'm so tempted to appear to her right now. So tempted. I should go. The Lord will guide you, Banisher. If you let him. I don't know you. Red McRaith, here by Kate Newsmith's invitation. A pleasure. Ah, he who swung from the tree. News travels fast. Thank you. What's your name? You may call me Jane. You're the first true local I've met. Where are the others? Here there is no local tribe. Huh. Why's that? The Abanaki left these lands many generations ago. They believe the ground cursed, bringing bad luck upon all who walked it. Ah, so you're not from around here either? No. And yet I'm less of a foreigner than any of you. Tell me, how are things going in camp? We left New Eden Town to escape the curse. Now we're trapped here. Kate and Thickskin work hard, but game is scarce, and hope is scarcer. I'll leave you then. Good day. <laughs> 